Hi, I'm Angus Robinson with the Anritsu Company. Today I've come into central London with the new 2080 Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzer and we're going to have a look at some of the 5G networks that we can see in the centre of the city. There should be six networks at 3.5 GHz. So first of all we'll have a look at all of those networks, see how strong the signal is and then we'll do, a, for one of those networks, we'll drive around the city centre and see how good the coverage is across a wider area of the city. In order to do that, as well as the 2080 Spectrum Analyzer, I need the omnidirectional antenna which is magnetically mounted onto the roof of the vehicle. That also has a GPS antenna in it, so that at any instant in time we know where we are and we can plot the signal strength on the digital map in the instrument. I've set the Spectrum Analyzer up centred on 3.6 GHz with a 500 MHz span and we can clearly see the 5G signals here in the yellow max hold trace. The green trace is the live trace but because 5G is a TDD signal we need to use max hold to build up the spectrum and see what signals are available. I've actually set up markers for the allocated frequency bands for the 5G signals in the UK and we can see that these 5G signals are centred on those allocated 5G bands. What I'm going to do now is demodulate each of those 5G networks. We can see there are six networks to analyse so if I go into the carrier aggregation mode what I've done is I've set up the configuration for each of those networks, that's the frequency and the SSB offset, and the instrument will scan through all six of those networks in turn and display the RSRP, RSRQ and the PCI for each of those networks. So we can see it stepping through the networks here and decoding them each in turn, just giving us additional information about all the networks that we're able to see. For the final part of our analysis today, we're going to pick one of these carriers and drive around the centre of London and see what the signal strength looks like over a wide area. So to go into the coverage mapping mode, I select measure, move into coverage mapping, home in on the area where we are, which is central London, and then I need to set up the frequency 3.452 gigahertz and enter the SSB offset which is minus 14 megahertz and now we're ready to start our coverage mapping. We're just driving around Trafalgar Square and you can see from the dots on the map that we've got blue green dots which means there's very good signal strength here in Trafalgar Square. We're crossing Waterloo Bridge, still got good signal strength and we're heading for the South Bank where a lot of the arts are centred in London. Really good signal strength here on the bridge. Just driving over Westminster Bridge towards the Houses of Parliament. You can see that we've got blue breadcrumbs on the display of the instrument indicating that we've got a really good signal strength in the area of Westminster. We're just going past the front of Buckingham Palace, past the Victoria Monument. Constitution Hill towards Hyde Park. We finished our coverage map drive and here is the resulting plot that we get. The blue dots are the strongest signal 
and these occasional pink dots are the weakest signal and the yellow and green dots are in between. So we drove right round past Buckingham Palace, over Westminster Bridge and Waterloo Bridge and through the tourist area of Covent Garden. And you can see that this particular network at three and a half gigahertz really has good coverage across the vast majority of the central London area. We started off today by using the standard spectrum analyzer to look at these six 5G networks here in central London. We could see all of those networks and then we went into the carrier aggregation mode to do a standard basic demodulation of each of those networks so we could see a little bit about the local PCI, the signal strength, the frequency and the overall summary of the performance of each of those networks at a single location. Then we went into the coverage mapping mode, drove around central London and we plotted on the screen of the instrument the signal strength for one of the networks around a wide area and you can see that this particular network at three and a half gigahertz really has very good coverage. So we've done a lot today, it was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching.